Welcome to another Nickel and Dime Me Travels video. Today we're taking a break from travels due to COVID-19 and reviewing our new custom temple bought from PoojaManders.com out of Raleigh, North Carolina. This temple is a long-awaited birthday gift for my wife and is the Swathi Clothes model, which is one of the smaller ones available. And as you'll see, it works well with the tight space we're trying to fit it into. So here it is, making an appearance in our corner office. The placement of the temple is in the northeast corner as per Vastu standards. As we move in closer, you'll see some of the details, including the carving along the sides. As we pan the camera downward, you'll see an additional set of drawers of storage space, which we'll take a look at in a minute. Towards the top of the temple, you'll see the dome or gorporum and the pattern around it, which we thought they did a very nice job on. A darker wood stain with the intricate patterns around the side really create an elegant look. Continuing along the side of the temple, you'll see a similar pattern matching the front. As we pan down, you will see a couple of small scratches towards the back of the temple, which we assume was the result of the shipping. Thankfully, these aren't too visible and we didn't feel it affected the look of the furniture itself. They packed the temple very well with minimal assembly required on delivery and sent us ample written instructions. Returning around to the front side, we've opened the door to the inner sanctum and you'll be able to see the display of the ledges within. Inside, you can really see the fine level of detail involved here on each of these ledges. On the top, you can see we had them install three LED bulbs over the sanctum, and it helps the details of the contents placed into the sanctum to really stand out. Coming back outside of the sanctum, you'll see a close-up of the individual bells, which felt like a nice high-quality build and not something you'd find in a typical dollar store. We also have a pull-out tray table for placing the Gila, Daya, Agarbadi, and the Prasad offering during the prayer. Here we see the bottom portion of the temple, which gives a decent amount of storage, and you'll later see just how much we were able to cram into this space. Now we get to see the fully decorated inner sanctum area of the temple. Here you'll see many pieces dedicated to various Hindu deities, including Ram, Shiv, Ganesh, and Ganpati, and saints, including ceremonial plates and statues of Krishna. And if you look over in the far right-hand side, you'll even see a statue of Jesus for those people that like to hedge their bets just a little bit. And as mentioned previously, you can see the lower storage area, mostly fully stocked and ready to go with Diwali items and other related books. So that about wraps up our review of the custom temple we purchased from Pujamanders.com. Needless to say, we were pleased overall with our purchase and would recommend them to others. It really is a quality built piece of furniture that fits in nicely with our home. Also, customer service was very attentive whenever we needed help with anything. No, it doesn't come cheap, but what custom piece of furniture does? If you're interested in learning more, we'll leave a link to their website in the description for this video. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, everyone.